Good morning. It is 6.15 a.m. and I'm heading up to the trailhead to hike Spanish Fork Peak. I got here at about 6 and I was shocked how many cars were here. The parking lot was already full. So I parked along the edge of the road down there. It does have restrooms, so that's a good thing. Today's hike is supposed to be 10.6 miles with about 4,600 feet of elevation gain. And I hiked Mount Nebo yesterday, so feeling that a little bit. I'm just gonna take it nice and easy today. I've got all the time in the world. Take it slow and just enjoy it. <sighs> Trail has really opened up here. I was hiking through like really tight trail with bushes everywhere for a while. And now we have this nice beautiful field to walk through. And the trail is much more flat and less rocky right here. So it's beautiful. We've also got a little breeze going on, which is super nice. So um, I think I'm about two miles out from Spanish Fork Peak. Just starting to get that sunshine. Been hiking in mostly shade, actually exclusively shade. I'm sure the last two miles are going to have a lot of elevation gain. So I'm bracing myself for that. Made it to Maple Lake. I am finally on the west side of the mountain, heading back down. Um, whew. The south side was pretty crazy. The wind was insane. So I'm happy to be on this side and in a less windy situation. I just stopped to eat a little venison bar. Yeah, I am excited. So beautiful up here, it's so insane. I almost decided not to do this hike today. You know, just because of all the regular excuses, I didn't sleep enough, I didn't eat enough, blah, blah, blah. And I'm really, really glad that I decided to do this because it's been an incredible hike. So I just passed a trail marker, which means I have three and a half miles out. So basically, I just need to follow Maple Canyon all the way down and it will lead me back to Whiting Campground, which is where I'm parked. 
I'm about two miles from the car here and it's starting to warm up. I'm starting to get pretty hot and so I'm slowing down my pace a little bit and I'm gonna stop and eat some food, drink some water, take care of myself for a second and then continue on. I caught a second wind, powering through it now, almost to the car. Trail is widening back up, meaning I'm getting closer. Just have to cross the river and we're maybe a half a mile away. Did it. I'm done. Parking lot. Right there. Oh, I just got back to the car. Oh my gosh, it feels good to have some AC on. Huh. There's one thing I wanted to quickly touch on before we do the recap of this hike. So as I was walking to my car, there was a guy in a golf cart writing tickets to whoever was parked on the side of the road. So, and you can see on the guy behind me, right there, there's a ticket on his car. So I talked to the guy, you are not supposed to park on the side of the road. Fire hazard, do not park on the side of the road. He did say that if the parking lot's full, you have to park clear down the canyon at Equestrian, which is far. That would add like four miles to the hike. So my recommendation would be to get here early. Luckily, I sweet talked my way through the ticket, the citation. Just mind the rules, the laws, and things like that, or else we get written up. All right, you guys, time to recap the Spanish Fork peak. So according to all trails, this hike was about 10.5 miles. And when I did this trail, it ended up recording through all trails 11.6 miles. I'm not sure where this discrepancy came from, but it's definitely a little bit longer than what they mention on all trails, which wasn't a big deal, but for some people that might be a problem. The elevation gain on this hike was pretty intense. The elevation gain on this hike was 4,700 feet. So, Quite a bit of elevation gain. This hike took me five hours and 36 minutes. I did feel like I was moving pretty slow. You really are going at a steady incline, probably for the first three and a half, four miles. Once I got to Maple Lake, I was really starting to feel the altitude. After Maple Lake, you'll hike up into this bowl area. And while I was there, there was still quite a bit of snow. And there were some people that were trying to go around the snow and there was a lot of loose rock. It seemed very problematic to go around the snow. I recommend just going through it and just be very sure of your footing along the way. Once you reach the ridge line, you're going to go through a little bit of trees. Then the trail wraps around the front of the mountain and you get this incredible view of Utah Valley. From there, it's a pretty steep climb up to Spanish Fork Peak but oh my gosh, it's so worth it when you get up there. You can see forever. Once I got to the ridge line, it was so windy. It was a little bit scary how windy it was. So I didn't spend a whole lot of time at the peak. There's this little metal box inside a mailbox within this mound of rocks that you can leave a little message or your name in, which I thought was really cool. I happened to be alone at the peak while I was up there, which I thought was pretty crazy. I was expecting a lot more people to be up at the peak because there were so many cars in the parking lot and I passed so many people on the trail. There was plenty of water the entire way, so if you don't want to carry a bunch of water with you, just bring a filter and you will have plenty of stops along the way. Lots of water on that trail. I was really surprised with how many people I saw that were completely unprepared for the terrain and didn't have enough water and didn't have the proper equipment that was needed for that trail. So I just wanna warn you guys, this is not a super easy trail. There is a ton of elevation gain. You will need water, especially if you're starting later in the day. There's a lot of direct sun and it can be very intense. But I just wanna warn you guys, this hike is amazing and it was so beautiful and I do recommend it. Just make sure that you go to this trail prepared. You have enough water or you bring a filter. You have good hiking shoes and I would definitely recommend hiking poles as well. That is going to wrap up the Spanish Fork Peak hike review. 
If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you know anyone that's going to do this hike, please send this video to them so that they are prepared. If you have hiked to Maple Lake or if you've hiked to the Spanish Fork Peak, please leave a comment below on your thoughts, how you enjoyed it or how you didn't enjoy it. I would love to hear your feedback. And remember to subscribe to my channel for more hiking videos, reviews, all that kind of fun stuff. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.